Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the whatever to you. Another beer review. And why I'm not in the camera is because I need to put this beer up into the light. Now, this is an unfiltered IPA. Now, if you look closely, there's a ton of chunks in there. Now, this is the most unfiltered beer I've pretty much ever seen. That thing is just chunkalicious. This is just like orange juice with pulp, but it's beer with pulp. And, uh, yeah. We are gonna pour it out. Just give me two seconds. Oh. We're gonna let Paul open it. Paul, Paul from Long Island. Equipped. Yes, Paul Acaria, formerly known as uh, Pork Slap. Formerly known. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop it for two seconds. On we go, and let's uh, let's take a look at what we have here. I think we're gonna have to I'm gonna zoom out a little. I'm trying to get the best angle here, but um, I'm not really sure if you can see as much anymore on the colors. Hold on, I think I it's just. There's all these chunks flying around in there, and I feel like I feel like this is more fizzy and bubbly as a result. It sure looks like it. Hold on. Let's see here. Hold on. I, I'm in focus now. I pretty much just want to try this right away before commenting, but there's a lot of gas. Okay. Paul will hold it. You may need to focus a little. Not me. Mm-hmm. You think I'm focused? You could. might be. Now, there appears to be just a lot of carbonation in there. It just, it is bubbly as hell. It smells really good. I, I don't think I've ever had an unfiltered IPA, especially not like this. Wow. Ooh. That is very hoppy. Oh, I think I got a chunk in there. That is seriously fucking hoppy. I think as a result of them not filtering it, it becomes like a double or triple IPA or something like that because of all the hops that are inside. It is just, I wonder if we can, any chunks will come out, nope. I think, I think we, yeah, there's nothing really left. There's some, some residue on the bottle, but as a result of all the hops that are in there and you're drinking them, it just tastes like a double or triple IPA. It's only 71.1% alcohol, this bone shaker. Uh, it's Amsterdam Brewing Company, which, to be honest, Amsterdam beer kind of sucks. Furious, stop humping Paul. Um, and this is hoppy as hell. Like, it's good, but it's it's overly hoppy, not expecting it. Like, you can taste the chunks. I like this beer. It's just really different. I don't think I'd be drinking this beer on a regular basis, but it definitely was nice to try. Amsterdam Bone Shaker. Not as hot, not as great. I, I would say double IPA, not a single IPA, double IPA with all that. Wow, the aftertaste is very. I think the chunks of hops actually get stuck in your throat, and that's what you're actually tasting all the hoppiness after. Not too shabby. Give it a go if you can find it. Uh, I think this is just they don't brew it all the time. So, anyways, guys, uh, is it off? Hmm. No. Oh, sorry. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah. Let me know if, uh, if you've tried this beer and your comments on it and uh, your opinions on unfiltered IPAs because I'm 50-50 on it. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Stay sexy, stay hungry, of course. Yeah.